got off to a bit of a rough start, but it was quite fulfilling. I was able to help a good friend replace the rear brakes on our SUV as they were completely worn out. And I was also able to spend the last hour or so on the Mustang. I finally got flooring springs in on the one side. You down here into the dark. Oh, I should grab the flashlight. Spindle to strut bolts. Huge pain in the butt. But a little fire and a three inch breaker bar, I got him out. Hopefully tomorrow night, we'll do the other side. Quick update, I got the smog pump removed and associated plumbing. I also got a new serpentine belt. Everybody on the internet told me a 73 inch is what I was needing, but for whatever reason it was much too long. After a few trips back and forth to the store, I settled on a 71 and 5 8 inch, which just works. As you can see here, I got about a finger width of room between where the two belts pass each other. There's about half scale deflection on the tensioner, so I might switch to a 71 inch serpentine belt, maybe gain a little more clearance. tonight after I put the girls to bed that I'll have the time and energy to swap out these or this factory coil for the Ford Racing Cease Loring Spring that I've already done on the other side. Another hour in the garage. That's a good progress to report. I've got the other side, the driver's side front coil uninstalled and the new lowering coil put in. I hope to swap the wheels on it and roll it around, let the suspension settle hopefully tonight or tomorrow and we'll see how it sits. Pretty good feeling, I'm going to have to take it back apart, the front as well as the back and cut some more coil out of it to get it as low as I want, but progress is progress. Thanks for tuning in.